News in the trial of Nestor Hernandez. He's the man accused of killing two Dallas hospital workers. A verdict in that case just came in. So we want to get right to Tiffany Liu, who has been monitoring this trial for days now. Tiffany, fill us in on the big decision today. Yeah, well, Jason, it took the jury about an hour and 20 minutes to come back with the verdict, and they unanimously decided that Nestor Hernandez is guilty of capital murder. What this means is an automatic life sentence without the possibility of parole. They ju family members just walked out of the courtroom right now, and they're actually talking to one of our other reporters, Matt Howerton, who's over there standing there. So we'll hear from them shortly here. But they also made some victim impact statements just a few minutes ago, and they were strong. Now, I want to kind of review to you guys what happened over the last three days. Hernandez himself actually testified yesterday, admitting that he killed Annette Flowers and Jacqueline Puqua, but he said he didn't kill them intentionally. To the victim's family and friends who have been here since the trial started, it was hard to believe anything that he said, and it seems the jury agreed. The decision on capital murder depends a lot on intent and all 12 jurors in a relatively short amount of time agreed on convicting him of capital murder. Take a listen. We the jury unanimously find the defendant guilty of the offense of capital murder as charged in the indictment. Annette Flowers and Jacqueline Buqua dedicated their lives to helping others and some of their family members during their victim impact statements said they called him a scum. They said he is a coward. They didn't, he didn't deserve to breathe the same air that Flowers and Buqua breathed. Um, I want you to take a listen at some of their victim impact statements right now. After you wrecked havoc that day and stole two beautiful so souls who undoubtedly were better human beings and more deserving of life than you will ever be, they still saved your life. I hope every day for the rest of your miserable life, you are haunted by their names, faces, and the legacy that you cut short. Now today they wore teal and navy blue in the courtroom. They've been matching colors all week to show a united front to support Jacqueline Puqua and Annette Flowers. They wore uh, red for Jacqueline's favorite color. They wore purple for Annette's favorite color. And then teal and navy blue is, are the hospital colors uh, that the two of them wore. Now, of course, they would do anything to get their loved ones back, but this is the best outcome that the family could have gotten from a trial. Again, Nestor Hernandez was found guilty of capital murder. He will spend the rest of his life in prison. Let's send it back to you in the studio. All right, Tiffany, thank you for bringing us uh, totally up to speed on that. If you would like to see Nestor Hernandez's full testimony, you can download our streaming app. It is WFAA+. We're going to be airing that at 830 this evening.